Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Sky Tomb Survival. This is episode number 33, I think. Is that right? Oh, he doesn't even know. Okay, well, um, yeah, welcome back. Um, we're using the vanilla HD texture pack. Hope you guys are enjoying that. Uh, you guys gave a few good suggestions on the, uh, the enchantment setup and, uh, I think you're right. The uh, the bookshelves do look a lot better um, exposed. So uh, what we're gonna do in this episode is kind of up in the air. I haven't had anything kind of really scheduled um, to do, and let's throw a few of these up there. Uh, let me show you guys what I built over here, though. Whoa. That was weird. Um, I've built one of my ice makers. I did a tutorial for this. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, I'll try to put it in the description below. But um, you can pretty much just go on my channel and find it. It should be rather easy. But uh, I've done this, and because of the lack of light that it needs, so that the ice won't melt right after it forms, um, I've just kind of had to leave the lights out. I've put uh, stairs here on the sides so that we don't have mobs spawning up here. I haven't figured out these corners yet though. Um, and then obviously half slabbed it out and then put these stairs on the side so we can walk up it and you don't see the redstone and whatnot. So you guys can let me know what you think about that. Uh, I have a, almost a stack of ice on me and then I know we have some in here. I would try to put it in the mob trap, but I don't think that'll actually help at all. Um, you guys can see I've got some more emeralds here, some more redstone. I had to get, I think, what was it, like 24 to make that. It only takes 24 redstone uh, to do all the repeaters and everything. Um, and then I had bows from our mobs, our precious mobs. How are we doing over here? Doing good? All right. They sound really happy. <laughs> but let's see. Um, I would kind of like to stack uh, a wheat farm of some some sort. Why is my frame rate dropping so bad? Um, anyway, let's head in here. Uh, I had a few villagers, I think, that actually matured in their trades. Uh, and this guy seems to just love hanging out in here. Don't you, bud? You do. I've tried to, like, see if it's just the half slab, and I took out the half slab. And, uh, he, just, he ran straight over there and started dancing on that one. So I was like, okay. Whatever you want to do, bro. Didn't ever leave anything in there. Um, they're starting to migrate over here, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, they're starting to use that second floor. Let's see what these guys got in here. 16 coal. Okay, that's that guy. 18 coal. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't try to say that they were giving me good trades, but... Yes, here. I'm trying to find the uh, iron golem. Oh man, I think he spawned outside here. Let me see. Oh, by the way, I did enchant uh, an iron pickaxe. Got that all legit. Let's see. No? That's just the bubbling, I guess. It's making that sound. Okay. Put that back. Yeah, I hadn't... Whoa, wait. Yeah, he did spawn outside. Dang it. I'm going to have to make like an area where he can... Uh, he can come in or something. I'm gonna have to expand this, I guess, because I've changed the center of the the village now to outside here. Hopefully, some of them haven't spawned in there. Let's see what we got over here. We don't have like three of them over here, do we? Maybe that's why. Yeah, at least they won't walk in the lava. That's good. Well, all right. Well, there's a project we can do this episode. Um, let me grab some stuff together and then we'll start on that. 
Alright guys, so I have my stuff together here, and I figured we'd eat some pork chop today. Because, uh, I've been doing just a little too much of the, um, of the beef. It's getting, you know, every time you just, you, you get tired of beef, sometimes you just need some pork. So, <laughs> that's totally off track about what I'm, uh, going to talk about in just a second. But, um, I thought I would tell you guys that. Anyway, so, by the time you guys see this, uh, I will have moved in to my college dorm. For those of you who don't know, uh, I've, I've said this plenty of times on my stream, um, but I'm 18 and I'm going to be a freshman in college this fall. Uh, so, I'm moving into college uh, on Thursday, which would have been yesterday. Um, and I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about how I felt about the whole the whole thing. Um, for me, college really wasn't a oh, do I really want to go to college? It was kind of a yes, of course I want to go to college. Um, before you guys ask, I don't know what I'm studying yet, and that's not like I didn't look at my classes. I just don't. I haven't declared a major yet. And that's kind of on me. I need to do that soon, or at least sort of know what I want to do. What was I coming back to grab? Bucket of water. Yeah. Um, I know I don't really talk about too much personal stuff, just because. Did that guy just spawn? Okay. Um, I don't talk about personal stuff all the time, just because it gets annoying with people asking even more personal questions and like you just answered so um, that's kind of why I've been the way I have about my personal life but I don't know as I get bigger it kind of feels more like you guys are just friends than you know just subscribers um, and I, I don't I hope it doesn't ever change like that even if I get you know 10 15 who are however many thousand subscribers or if I you know I hope I don't lose you guys, but if my subscriber count goes down, I hope that you never feel that I'm just, you know, some big YouTuber that, you know, doesn't care about you guys, care about you guys. Uh, and I want, I want you guys' input and stuff, good luck and best wishes and all that. So, anyway, um, so I'll be starting college the 13th, that's when classes start, um, and I don't know. I'm anxious. I'm, you know, I'm excited. It's nothing I've ever done before. Um, I'll, I'll be rooming with my brother, so hopefully that'll make um, that'll make recording not too much of a hassle. Or whoa, did do we have two of them now? Or did he somehow glitch? He glitched up, didn't he? Wow. Or he died in the lava. I think I would have heard that though. Uh, but anyway, I it there shouldn't be a drop in, in recording. Um, but I do want to talk about some series that I think I'm going to discontinue. Um, one of which being the Underground series that I started when I was on vacation. Um, people do not... Seem to, you guys don't seem to have a lot of interest in that series at all. Um, and I'm just taking that from the view count and the amount of likes and whatnot. Because that's that's really the only way I can know um, what you guys think about it. But uh, series like Island Survival and this series, I know almost everyone on the channel... If you're subscribed, you you like this um, this series at least. Uh, even if it's not your favorite, you know, it's something that you do want to watch. So this will definitely um, take precedence, I guess. Um, this and Island Survival, I'm definitely going to try to keep those series um, and have an episode out every week. Where did that one go? So, you guys don't have to worry about those getting discontinued. Um, 
at least in the meantime, in the near future, I should say. I've talked about uh, maybe ending this map on episode 50, which would be another 17 episodes, which, if I spaced them out correctly, would be 17 weeks, making that, uh, let's see, let's do the math, divide that by four, at least four months more of this series. So, you know, a lot can change in four months. Um, so we'll just, I guess we'll have to tackle that when we get there. You do not need to be going outside. I did not tell you you could go outside. Go back into the village. Go. Go right now. Go. I'm going to kill you. If you don't, if you don't freaking go back in there. Well, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to keep you out here. This is happening. To build this up. You better, you better walk back inside. Oh yeah. Yeah, you want to get inside there now, don't you? Get. How did... Oh, I thought he just got up. Okay, so, back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. So, uh, underground, I think, unless I have an overwhelming, like, ask for it, which still may be overruled because... I honestly, I was not having that much fun with the map. Um, that series was just, I was trying to get something up for you guys so that you had something to watch. Uh, and I don't think that should be the way I record stuff um, at all. Uh, and the other series that's probably going to get discontinued is Biosphere Survival. And I know a good portion of you guys actually like that. Um, but it was getting to that point where it's just like a chore to do it. And, uh, honestly, I think adding in, uh, Geomine as another prominent series, um, having that and, uh, Island Survival and, um, and this series, I think that'll be a good balance, uh, for me to have three videos a week and I don't think you guys should have any room to complain with three videos a week um, I know guys who only post like once every two weeks so uh, you know I think it's reasonable for me obviously starting up school and starting up college it's gonna be different than high school uh, as far as workload is concerned so I think that I hope this isn't gonna look weird. Um, I think that in the meantime, uh, while I'm getting you know my schedule together and kind of seeing where the balance is between free time and um, and like how much I really have to study, I think that three series will be good. Uh, just just to have for that so you guys can let me know what you think uh, in the comments obviously I'm always open to you guys uh, your suggestions and whatnot um, do not think that me using this texture pack is an excuse for you to say oh use the faithful or use jollycraft or use dokucraft because I am always gonna stay uh, vanilla when recording and as good as faithful is it still doesn't have that good old uh, you know default feel and I think this is like one of the only super HD texture packs that has that's fully default like well I mean besides the water but the water is just awesome um, all, all they did was take the, the textures and then enhance them like just make the shadows and shading and and stuff so that's that's one thing please do not comment and and tell me texture packs please but other than that I mean I'm, I'm pretty open to you guys suggestions um, we're hitting about 15 minutes so I want I want to continue I want to build these walls up so let's start to do that I think I have them Let's build this up a little bit more. 
Um, I'm not a huge fan of this whole jagged wall thing. Dang it. Uh, oh, also, enchantments. I made a decision on the whether to keep the mod or not. Uh, and here's the decision. I think most of you guys will like it. Um, any diamond tools that I enchant, I will use the mod. Because those are ridiculously rare, and I don't think that the enchantment on those should be left to chance. Um, you know, I'm going to have to sacrifice a lot of resource gathering to get the emeralds to buy the you know diamond tools or whatever and to leave the enchantment up to chance I think you guys will appreciate the fact that we're not doing that and um, as far as iron tools go those are in abundance I make an iron tool like almost every episode so um, we'll definitely enchant those I'll try to do it on camera can't promise that I'll always do it on camera um, but like I showed you guys that's what I got um, and I did the lucky 10 also so I think there might be something to that but uh, anyway so that's where we're sitting that's you guys are kind of um, fully informed and whatnot uh, and that you guys can let me know what you think uh, but another thing I wanted to address um, is like my FPS and I guess it's a little less because of uh, this what you call it um, because of the texture pack I'm using uh, the FPS isn't like amazing but I did a mod review, or not a mod review, but a program review of the Magic Launcher. I'm going to have to make backs for those now. Uh, the Magic Launcher, and it's, I like the program. It's it's really good for installing mods, uh, removing mods, having separate jars and whatnot, but uh, kills your FPS. Like, I don't know why, but it, it just does. Um, I put 1.3 on there and I was getting alright sorry had a uh, an interruption but I was talking about the magic launcher I was getting like 40 frames per second um, which for my new computer is awful like w during re while recording this I have to have it locked at 30 how did he get out again um, I have to have the frame rate locked at 30 just because of the texture pack it you know I don't I can't record at 50 frames per second with a 64 by 64 texture pack that that would kinda of be insane um, let's go grab some wood or whoa frame rate drop but anyway um, yeah I, I don't know why it kills your frame rate but it does and so I'm not gonna be using that anymore unfortunately but I guess it's good because we don't need biosphere survival anymore so we, I don't have to keep that mod um, I'm gonna try to stick with Optifine and Enchant View uh, and just have a separate jar for the Enchant View one and then I might get Tree Capitator uh, that was a good one but at the same time someone uh, commented saying what's the point of having a really good axe if you have that so oh gosh okay anyway um but we're towards the end of the episode guys well we're actually at the end um that was all i was gonna do hopefully you guys didn't mind a uh you know like a, more of a talky episode um i am moving into college and uh one last thing i did want to mention the internet at the college uh, the upload speed is amazing um, download speed however I'm not quite sure how good it is uh, the wireless was sort of unreliable um, my brother's a year older than me and he he was already there um, so anytime I visited him I'd bring my setup and you know I I wasn't I wouldn't record but I would um, I would watch YouTube videos I mean like 
that's what I do. I watch other guys to see how I can improve. Um, so hopefully, wired in, the connection will be good. Um, and I'll be able to answer all your comments all the time and whatnot. I'll still, I will still do my diligence on that um, to respond to about 90% of you guys. Stupid comments. Uh, and not, I'm not talking about first and stuff like that. By the way, don't heckle the first guys. I love those. Love those comments. Please, I will delete your comment if you, if you try to, uh, to, you know, um, bash the guy who says first. Alright? So, anyway. Um, upload speed is really good. So, I'll be able to upload videos in like 10 minutes as opposed to an hour and a half. <laughs> Uh, which is going to be awesome. That's going to mean that uh, I won't have to record eight days in advance and then put stuff out. I should be able to record, render, and have it up in an hour or two. So that'll be awesome uh, for me as far as schedule wise. But um, live streaming, also meant to mention that um, I got live streaming on YouTube enabled. So that's awesome. Thank you to my representative at Maker for pushing and, and getting that for me. I appreciate that. My sword just broke. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know how the whole live streaming thing is going to work. The upload speed is good, but the download speed is, eh, you know, so I don't know how that works with, uh, with live streaming. I think you do need to have a good upload speed. So if, if that's right, then we'll, then we'll be doing that soon. Um, but... In the meantime, don't expect uh, live streams too much, but I will try to announce it uh, before if I can. I'll try to have more more of a scheduled uh, live stream. So that's it. That's all I have to talk about um, for this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter or both. Um, and Twitter is definitely the best way. To directly get in contact with me, comments are all right, uh, and private messages are are pretty good for that as well. So if you guys want to get in touch with me, do that. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.